Alright, welcome back everybody. I've got a uh, real review for you. Um, this right here is the Penn Senator 114H. It is also considered to be a 6 alt size reel. Um, this one in particular, I've got a uh, little bit of mono, about 600 yards of 100 pound Power Pro underneath a top shot here of 80 pound Trilene Big Game. And, uh, of course, as many of you already know, you definitely need to put mono underneath braid to keep it from spinning on the spool. And then I put a top shot because I do a lot of beach shark fishing, and uh, the sand will actually cut through the braid. We've had it happen a couple different times. So it's got a, just a couple hundred yards, about 200, 250 yards of this 80 pound on top of it. But uh, just a little overview of the reel. This one is a little older. You can see the white handle here. If you look up the pin manufacturing company, they use different colored handles with the different year models of the same reel but uh, dead giveaway it's an H is the red in color the other ones are black but uh, zoom in here a little bit for you you can see it is the 114H star drag system um, the H has a little bit larger drag system inside than the the standard 114 um, of course you have your switch here at the top that is for free spool a little tough but free spool and then whenever you want to go and start reeling um, pin does a phenomenal job with making the reels this one was was made in uh, Philadelphia and uh, it's probably been around about 20 years and it still looks phenomenal as well as performs phenomenal uh, when I acquired the reel I actually went through and cleaned it internally and replaced the drag system with the HT 100 drag plates I recommend everyone do that. It's, it's much higher quality than what was in it before. Went from a 6 plate system to a 13 plate system. So uh, much more, excuse me, many more plates to actually, uh, you know, increase your drag performance. On the other side here, just like with most senators, you have the picture of the marlin jumping out of the water, as well as uh, your clicker switch, turning it on and off. But uh, overall, it doesn't get much better than these. For the price, um, I picked this one up for right at about $50, went through, cleaned it up. It had very little corrosion. You can see on the the, uh, the stainless steel there that everything looks really, really nice. There's no corrosion. Um, take care of your reels. Clean them after every use, and uh, they'll last you forever. And here's a prime example of it. Last thing I'd like to go over is the older style mounting here. You have two pins that come out. Two screws, wing nuts, and a uh, little bridge for underneath the uh, reel seat there. But that's it. Here you have it. The pin 114H. It is the high speed version of the 6 alt. Thanks for watching.